All right, Doc, I cannot wait uh, to hear these five, what are you calling five them? Five secrets. Five uh, secrets to beating? Well, the, the workshop's called How to Take on Your Diabetes and Win, but the five secrets to diabetes management, and that's really what this is. Okay. This is really okay. about managing, properly managing your, your diabetes. And and since we only have a few minutes left, I want to go through the five secrets to, to, to taking on your diabetes that we'll be going into at the class tomorrow night. And, and these five secrets are probably things that the general public has maybe never heard of. Now, the first one is I've discovered some research on two chemicals that's in our food and environment that has now been directly linked to causing diabetes. And uh, I have all the research on it, and I'm, I'm going to expose these specific chemicals and show you how to get rid of them at, at the workshop. So um, I've got all the research on that that I'll show you. And then the second thing is we're going to discuss how stress affects the body and how that can wreak havoc on your hormone and insulin system. And I, I have the direct link to that that I'll show you how um, stress and, and hormone and insulin problems are connected. And we'll connect that with diabetes and show you a simple simple solution for that and then finally i'll discuss the role of the nervous system and discuss some simple steps for diabetic neuropathy which is a mm-hmm. big problem with people with diabetes they have the nerve pain in their feet or their legs and the shooting pain uh, down in that area so i'm, I'm going to show you the, the the connection with that and solutions in order to try to reduce that and then we're going to discuss. I have the, that pain when JC walks into the room. <laughs> <laughs> JC neuropathy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then finally, I'm going to discuss the role of sugars and carbohydrates effect on the cells and secrets to easily cutting them out of your diet and some alternatives that aren't going to spike your blood sugar. Mm. You know, the whole secret to this is. To stop the up and down swings of the blood sugar, where it spikes and then it drops. Sure. I'm going to show you how to sense. keep that, that blood sugar line steady, where it doesn't go up and down. And, and, and that's going to make a huge difference. And, and we'll have a whole host of other food and dietary secrets. Um, this is probably... Yeah, we ought to show up for that one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this is probably the most comprehensive diabetes and, and nutrition workshop that you've ever seen. And I'm super excited to see everybody there. Um, I've worked really hard to get this thing together over the last month. And, and so by concluding our series today on diabetes, I, I really hope that I've kept this interesting and simple for the listeners. And, 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 and I hope that you guys really got a lot out of it because I tried hard to make you make sure that you were able to do that. And so if you want to come to the workshop called How to Take on Your Diabetes and Win, uh, you can call right now and register. But if, if you want to come, you should register soon because the class is filling up very quickly, if not already full. So in Lafayette, you can call 837-7174. And in New Iberia, you can call 367 367- Two five six seven, or the uh, you can join us on Facebook at Bryant Wellness Institutes. Okay, um, did you just ended you ended that rather <laughs> That's quickly. <right. laughs> That's I, twice I, today. You've been a little slow on your uh, no. I know in your here. inflection was. I thought you had something else to say. <laughs> um, no, I got a, I got a question for you because um, our crazy receptionist Janet and I were talking about you before you got here. Okay. And I was up there, and there was some A Bears sent over some boudin, some boudin balls. By the way, thank you, A Bears. Uh-huh. And I said, I'm going to um, ha- I walked into the lobby of the radio station, and I said, I'm going to have a couple of these before Dr. Kevin gets here to make me feel honking guilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she looks at me and she says, I wonder what he does to splurge. And I said, Well, actually, we've talked about this on the air. And she said, You have? I said, Yeah. She said, well, what does he do to like, you know, we we might have, you know, Buddha or Buddha balls and which is around here. Really, the norm. It's not, yeah, it's not a splurge. That's the problem. Yeah. 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 That, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. But um, she said, I wonder what he does. And I told her, I said, well, you know, the other day we were talking about this on the radio. And and I remember him saying that he has chocolate cake once a year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or you know, for your birthday. Yeah, or every six months, I might have a cheeseburger or something like that. You know, yeah. yeah. And so I want to ask, I want to ask you real quick here, for real, no BS. You only splurge like maybe once every six months, really? Yeah. 
Yeah, really. Yeah. I yeah. can believe that because yeah. once you start doing it right and you feel good, you don't want to mess that up. Well, not only that, but I, I feel like I splurge every day whenever I, you know, at dinner, whenever I make a nice grilled salmon with asparagus yeah. and bro- I feel like I don't. I'm not denied anything. I love the the food that I prepare and I eat. So we have a blast with food. I think that's one of the bis, big misconceptions is that you have to suffer to eat healthy. And then when you splurge, you go eat something that's unhealthy. I really feel like that the food that we pref- prepare is fantastic. I mean, we do we have fun cooking around the house. You know, we do all kinds of grilled salmon or you know, some sort of a um, a venison. You know that we'll do in the in different ways. I mean, we have fun cooking. I, mm-hmm. I I feel like the food I eat is fantastic. So it's not really a splurge to me. Um, what's it? What's the thing that you might cheat on or cheat with? <laughs> that's that's probably for you the most unhealthy. Um, for you. You mean on a very regular basis? Yeah. I'd probably say I put the the creamer in my coffee, the sweetener, like the you know the the international delights or whatever. It's just pretty mm-hmm. unhealthy, and it's got all kind of chemicals and you know some sugar in it. So that's, you that's cheat probably, with a teaspoon of something? Yeah, yeah. That's probably the most unhealthy. <laughs> you know, thing. you know how many people hate you right yeah, now. That's probably the unhealthiest thing <laughs> I do on hear, a daily hear, basis. People are right now. They're looking at their radios like really, <laughs> <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that's probably the le- the least healthy thing I do er- uh, daily or every day. But is you know that, what, CJ? He understands better than any of us that it's a very slippery slope. It is absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. most of the time, I'm yeah. sliding down it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But stuff like sweets, you know, like donuts and that, if I get started on that, I'll eat the whole box because that's my favorite kind of thing. So, you know, that's... So you just don't do I it. I just don't do it. Why yeah. did you have to say donuts? Yeah, I know it. Now it's in I my just head. Don't, yeah, I, got I, text, just, I got a text last night, late, late, late last night. One of my friends texted, what what kind of, uh, uh, what's your favorite, what's you and Debbie Ray's favorite donuts? That's, see, that's the, see, <laughs> that's what happens to me. And of right. course, I responded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess you know. You just said something that that I'm going to try to take to heart here. Of all the things you you've said with this series, and all the things that you've said today, the one thing that I'm going to take to heart today when you leave here is that if if there are donuts, if you eat one, you're going to eat two or three. <laughs> Don't start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to take from. That's the lesson I'm going to learn from you today. Don't start if there are a box of boudin balls up there. If I don't take the first one, I'm not. I'm not going to. If if I if I take the first one, that's it. It's all over with. It's mm-hmm. on. You and, hear me? And you know what else? It's sometimes if you have one, you think, oh well, that shot. I'll have another. Mm-hmm. I'll have another. Right. You know, no. don't throw in the towel if you fall off the wagon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, seventy three pounds ago, when I was pre diabetic myself, before I lost all my weight. I I'm just made a decision that I was going to draw a line in the sand mm-hmm. and that I was not going to let myself cross it, even put my toe on the other line. And so that was really wow. a point where if you do that, then pretty soon you're doing that every day. If you go, oh, well, I'll just do it this once mm-hmm. or I'll just splurge this one time. Mm-hmm. That's becomes a daily thing. Mm-hmm. And so if you, so you, right. you, you just have to be to the point where you go, you know what, I'm turning this around and it's not worth that. It, it tastes good for a second. Mm-hmm. And then it Stephen Tyler one time, you know, with the, the group Aerosmith. Sure. Stephen Tyler said, uh, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. And I told <laughs> and I, I told him to bite me. <laughs> I said, bite me. <laughs> uh, According to his book, yeah, he yeah. may have had some help, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that 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 is what I'm going to take from you today, chief. Don't start if because if I don't start. I can't. I can't go get out of control. Right. Mm-hmm. If there's a box of donuts and I don't, if I don't take one, there's no possibility of me getting out of control. Sure. If I take one, away. as Deb said, I'm going. I've, I've blown it. I just yeah. eat the rest yeah. of them. You know the other. The other big tip with that, just very very quickly, is prepare your food for the whole day. Mm-hmm. You know, if you'd have already eaten your oatmeal with blueberries before you left the house, like I did. You well, walk, if you'd have been there at 2 o'clock in the morning to fix them for me. <laughs> you can walk past the donuts and you're not hungry. Yeah. But if I haven't eaten and I get to work and there's donuts on the desk, oh, I'm starving. i got to get busy for work. Let me just grab two of these. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, a, it's about preparing. And that's one of the things we'll discuss at the workshop, too. We have some fantastic tips on how to manage your diet properly by just having a little bit of forethought and putting into it. So the workshop, we're going to discuss a whole lot of these little food tips and these little secrets about diet and how to – Convert your diet slowly without suffering. I don't feel like I'm missing anything with my diet. That's at all. wonderful. You know, you know so. that's so true. People think, you know, I need I need to take care of me. I need me time, and that 
translates to getting a massage or sleeping yeah. late. But instead, think meal planning. Right. Well, Golly. what you what, I just learned something else from you. You know, a lot of people go to the gym and they think um, they think health is like lifting the weights and, mm-hmm. and all that and working everything out from the neck down. Health probably starts from the neck up mm-hmm. first, mm-hmm. absolutely, because the decisions that you make. And I mean. That, 